Good morning, Facebook. This is Demille. I thought I would share you all, um, share with you all a little bit of the progress that I've made on this M and M model. I have really made um, a lot of progress. I guess over the past, uh, mm, I don't know, maybe the past twenty-four to forty-eight hours, I've been working on this thing almost nonstop because I just wanted to kind of take advantage of just some extra time that I had this week. You know, being on vacation and stuff and this has been a very, very fun project to work on. Um, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, after graduation from Academy of Art University that I um, really look forward to uh, seeking a job on, you know, as a professional computer animator. And doing all of this before class starts, um, taking the classes that I know is going to be necessary for me to uh, to actually you know, build the skills to do this is just going to be uh, really helpful. So, and let me tell you, this stuff is not, it's not hard. It's not easy at all. Um, I've spent a lot of time working on this, but just wanted to show you all what I've been doing. Um, I've got quite a few things going on here with the model. As you can tell, he's got all these little gadgets and circles and stuff. And all of those are basically controls. They control different joints in the body. There's a joint for his uh, for his legs. I can move his legs and feet, and uh, those work work like they should. There's a joint for his hip. I can kind of move his hip around. I don't have the eyes parented yet, but that's coming too. Um, once the eyes are parented, wherever his body moves, his eyes will move as well. And then, um, let's see what other controls we got. We got a control for the chest. We can rotate the chest forward if we want to. Um, and again, his eyes aren't parented. So in doing that, it kind of creates his eyes in a static position, but that's fine. I'm getting to that point. But the point, the thing that I really wanted to show you guys was the progress I made with his eyes. I finally got his uh, eyelids to actually blink and I thought it looks pretty cool. So I figured I'd show this to you guys. Check that out. Is that cool or what? His eyes are actually blinking. The old Eminem model that I did, um, I think it was, let's see, it was this one that's getting ready to open. This one did not have um, blinking eyes, so the eyes were basically just in a solid static position. Whereas um, here, I'm actually able to manipulate the eyes. Pretty soon, I'll be able to actually make the pupils move from left to right, up and down and stuff like that. But just this alone right here, I got to tell you, I'm very impressed with uh, the way that this is turning out and it's a fun learning experience for me because you know if you know me you know this is the kind of stuff that I'm really really um, excited about and just to be able to learn this you know is just is really really cool and so you know I mean pretty soon hopefully I'll actually be able to create maybe a little uh, maybe a little short cartoon or short animation with him moving maybe running or walking or whatnot but um it's still just a little ways away but i can tell you that i'm making um very significant progress with uh with this as it is and uh just to get to this point i'm telling you it is uh it is really really something special so anyway i just wanted to just share this with you guys and um, let you see the progress that this guy is making. I mean, as you can tell, he's able to move and do all kind of cool stuff. And and like I've said before, what you're looking at, this is the same pretty much type of uh, procedure that those professional animators do when, um, you know, they're making movies like Despicable Me 2 and Monsters vs. Aliens and stuff. Um, this is the same type of uh, process that they do. They build the models. They have to rig it. They have to add all these controls and stuff to make the model do what they want it to do. 
And once they get all that done, they're able to actually create an animation. Now, there's a ton of people that do that. Um, it's not just one person, whereas me, you know, I'm doing it by myself. Um, but, you know, they're able to actually take something like this and, you know, it might be 20, 20 animators or so, you know, working on this same thing. And uh, they'll be able to to really, you know, make a lot more, um, I guess, maybe be a little more efficient with uh, how they do it. Um, and maybe even do it even quicker, but I'm just really proud of this and just wanted to share this with you guys and let you take a look at it. I mean, and I'm going to tell you, those eyes are tricky. I still don't have it down the way that I want to, but it's, uh, it's coming though. It's coming. It's going to take me just a little bit of time, but it is definitely coming. But for now, I got to tell you, I'm very, very happy with the way that this is turning out. I got to work on that right eye just a little bit to get it on sync, but I think I can do that. But anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you all have a great day today. Game will be coming on this afternoon, and as always, go Niners. Have a great day.